Good morning. I have an email. I did get permission to share it. You will not believe why this wife is divorcing her husband of two years. I told y'all lots of wives are naked wives, especially the wives in the church. Because, you know, we're so delusional, child. We think all that matters is that he be saved, he love Jesus and all this. And, and, and that's just like the tip of the iceberg. Because there is so much more to having a happy and fulfilling marriage than your husband just being born again. And this is why the Husband Profile course is vital, ladies. You must sign up for this course. This is the last time I am teaching it this year. By the time this course is done, it's the fall, NaNoWriMo, and your girl got lots of books to put out. I need to get my books out. But if you can't, girl, you must read 23 types of guys you might meet. I talk about everything in this book, how to choose your husband, what to look for, so on and so forth. I want to thank you for your love and support. Good morning. I missed you guys yesterday, but I've been mentoring and I'm going to be mentoring today too. Thank you for your love. Thank you. We're on our way to 27,000 cousins. Isn't that wonderful? I am so excited. Be sure to subscribe. <coughs> Thumbs up. Excuse me. Share this out if you can. Invite a friend to watch, to join, to subscribe. And yes, please remember my membership. But for me, it's I prefer if you could support me on my Janice Hilton platform. This way you can talk to me. You can have one-on-one -on -one with me. And I'm even going to have the, the, the membership where you choose a membership and you can get to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? So show me love and support over there if you so please choose. If you so choose. All right. I have this email from cousin. We'll just call her cousin. Cousin didn't know. Let's call her cousin didn't know. Okay. Cousin didn't know. Thank you for your love. All right. <clears throat> it's long. I had to cut and paste. Okay. Uh, Cousin Janice, I accidentally found your channel during Love is Blind. I have been binge watch almost all of your videos. Watching your videos, I realize how much I did not know. You are what I have been needing in my life and I need your help. You are right about everything you said about Christian stating. Here's my issue. I am 36 years old, married less than two years, and we've had sex maybe five times. Isn't that like, you know, your wedding night, you do it like five times because you know you wasn't doing it like when you were dating two years and five and only five times, girl. Like, what's wrong with it? <laughs> Every time, let me read that again. Here's my issue. I am 36 years old, married less than two years, and we've had sex maybe five times. And every time, in all caps, every time I am grossed out. I literally get myself, all caps, drunk every time. I'm going to read that and read it. Here's my issue. I'm 36 years old, married less than two years, and we've had sex maybe five times, all caps. Every time I am grossed out, I literally get myself drunk every time. Yes, 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 Cousin Janice, I can hear you say, you need to go see a therapist, all caps, LOL. I am, and I have filed for divorce. I'm waiting for him to sign the papers, <clears throat> but he's asking for, for alimony. <laughs> we gonna talk about that another time. She's fighting it. She says she got her a, a real good lawyer fighting the alimony thing. 
Okay, so here it here goes. We had a boatload of issues and we should not have gotten married. I see now I got married because I was desperate and wanted to have a baby. We got married in six months. He didn't have much, but I have a lot and I thought I could deal. Mm, you can't deal, girls. He is a brother from one of the the other churches we fellowship with and we didn't date like you said he like me my pastor announced that we were courting and we got married in less than six months how many y'all know dating is not courting how you court somebody you don't know we got married in six months come to find out he did not even have his legal documents. Hello, 23 Tessa guys. Mr. Visa. Mr. Visa. Hmm. I have since left the church. Blah, blah, blah. One of our big issue. My soon to be ex-husband is not circumcised and I never knew that that was a question I should have asked <clears throat> Lexi you're looking real pretty let me read that again uh Let's give me a minute. I'll make your lunch, okay? Okay. Come 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 back in five minutes. Uh, where was I? Okay, here we go. My, one of our big issues, my soon-to-be ex-husband is not circumcised, and I never knew that. That was a question I should have asked. I never thought about it. So I, I asked her, what, what do you mean you never thought about it? You never, did you assume maybe he is? Or she said, no, I never thought about it. I never thought that that was something I was supposed to ask. So we did not have sex before marriage. And I don't want to go into, into too much details. But in on our wedding night, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation. She said, Jesus, roast, look. Um, that, 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 because I, I, you know, I don't want to go into more details. She, she said she wasn't going to, but she gave me a little detail. And then she asks, uh, when is your next profile course? And then we, we've been talking. I've had a session with her. She is seeing a therapist because that getting drunk. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Um, so I took some notes here. Okay. One of the things I've been getting a lot of these circumcision questions. Okay. And um, as a matter of fact, I just posted one in my husband profile course group that you're only in if you take the course, okay? You can't be in this in this course, if in this group, if you don't take it. Okay, Princess April is in Portugal. Yes, Princess April. Right. Okay, here you go. Here you go, another one. She, she says, my, this is a Reddit post, me, F female 23 partners, M25 dingling always stinks and gets mad. I don't do some stuff. Okay. You can read between the lines. Um, he's not circumcised. Uh, so one of the things I noticed when women post in the wife groups or ask question about is I noticed that other women try to convince them that it's not as bad or or you're you're wrong for feeling the way you feel or it's better with or or teach him how to wash it and clean it or stuff like that and to me something as intimate as that they can't think what you think because that's what you think you know what i mean like if she's grossed out there's, there's, how do you change that? How do you change being grossed out? You can't about every time you're about to minister to your husband, you know, like, mm, mm, yes, yes. 
you're thinking, well, Paula says it's not as bad. And I just think that we need to stop doing that. I think that we need, it's, it's like me marrying a broke man. I just can't. <laughs> I just cannot, okay? We could talk about that in the comments, okay? Uh, uh, and I can hear somebody now. Let me just uh, side note, because somebody asked me, how old is your daughter? You still make her lunch. My husband is in his 50 and I make his lunch. I don't understand. <laughs> Yes, I make lunches for everyone. When I make dinner the night before, uh, um, I make lunch. Today, I didn't make her lunch because I just wasn't sure. She has a doctor's appointment, and I'm just not sure she, she's going to make it time for her to bring lunch, or do I need to stop and pick her up lunch? So I can hear that. Yes, those are little things I do for my family that they like. So when she comes down every day, her lunch has a pink, pink magnet on it. And uh, everybody in my house has a magnet. Lexi's is pink. Big Michael is a, is the traveling magnet. And I'm the writer or the mom. And little Michael is the pink or uh, Sesame, please. Everybody have a magnet. If the food don't have your magnet on it, don't you touch it. Okay? <laughs> so I, I can hear somebody say that because somebody asked me that before. Yes, I make their lunches. Okay, so another thing, courting is not dead. I know Christians push this courting thing. But how do you court somebody you haven't dated? What is dating? Dating is about data. You gather the data so that you might make an informed decision. Data about what? Data about what you want, which is why my husband profile course is so vital. And every woman needs to take this course, dating, engage, especially y'all engaged one, because y'all might find out mm, he ain't what you want. I do not want married women to take my course because you might take my course and realize that he ain't the one for you. And you know how I feel. You're going to have to try to stick it out unless he's beating you or abusing you or cheating or something. Number three is knowing it's important what you want. We talk about the, the D in in the in our husband profile course you know one one young lady she was saying well you gotta take the course for me to give you details but everything is important everything is important and everybody every woman is different another thing ladies is you when you are dating these men from other countries you need to have you there's a whole lot of extra stuff in that you have to ask questions legal documents right do they have their legal status i don't want to say yeah nah girl you you um you have to ask i was mentoring uh, a young lady and she was seeing a young man he didn't have his legal status and i was like girl no run to the hills when it's coming with your help this was a few years ago. She married him. He got his papers and left her and went home and got his wife. I, Mr. Visa is in the book 23 Times of Guys. I don't ever do it because you don't know if they're marrying you because they love you or because they really want their status. I've told you all about both of my brothers. Both of my brothers, after my daddy paid for them big old weddings, married women without their papers who did not have legal status. As soon as they got it, they were changed woman changed my brother said the day she got the paper she changed the day and the other one was just waiting for 10 years so she she could get the alimony and the second it turned 10 years she did some dirty grimy lying stuff on my brother right my husband me we had to get money to, to go bail my brother out of jail. But thank God for them kids. Thank God. Thank God for my, my, my niece, my nephew and nieces. When the cops questioned them, they said, no, that's not what happened. Daddy did not do that. This is what happened. Evil little bitch. That little heifer. Let me tell you what she did. She took all her clothes off put her hand on top of her head, back home, that means, and ran outside, butt naked, and say, he's beating me. That's what that little dirty bitch did. And my husband, thank God for my husband. Thank 
God. My husband had to go in our emergency money and get all this money to go bail my brother out of jail because this dirty. And now she's sitting up in my brother's house getting alimony and child support. But let me tell you, there is a God. There is a God. But anyways, do not marry men or women, ladies, because I have a lot of brothers over here. If they don't have their legal status, you need to see it. And you need to go find a way to check it. Go to immigration and check it to make sure it's right. Don't marry nobody with no papers. Everybody I know that married somebody that didn't have no papers, it was gone. I know this other guy went to Jamaica, got him some young girl. To me, that was, he was a pedophile to me because she was 17. You were grown 30 some year old man, brought her up here, put her through school, had two beautiful babies, put her through nursing school. <laughs> she graduate, right? And they call, let's say Janice Hilton. <laughs> they call her Janice Hilton. She went up that stage, took took the cert, the uh, uh, the diploma. And you know how you took your diploma? You're supposed to come down and walk around. Baby, she kept on walking. She kept on walking. She left him and the kids. She got that diploma, that nursing diploma kept on walking she never came off the stage she left him and the kids oh two beautiful kids i mean those kids were gorgeous because she's like half rastafarian have beautiful babies and i saw him years later was trying to talk to me oh, i don't believe what happened man the girl left me man the girl left me on the picking of them man me have to send the picking of them go to jamaica go stay with me mother in my head, I'm laughing because I'm like, I would have left you too. Because I'm telling you, to me, a 37-year-old man should not be a 16-year-old girl that is being a pedialyte. But I think the mama just approved because she really needed somebody up here to get the paper so they could come up. And that is what she do, honey. She had two beautiful babies, put them through, and he put her through nursing, and she kept her while well, he had not seen her when I saw her. When I saw him years later, he said, I haven't seen her or heard from her in 10 years. She has a call to check on the kids. Nothing. Now, I couldn't be that heartless. I couldn't be that heartless. But anyways, husband profile course, Sha, you need it. Sign up for it. I love you. I have to run. Let me know what you think about this. And um, ladies, does it matter? Cut or uncut? Does it matter to you? Okay, doesn't matter. Everybody have a right to what they want. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.